Do you own a home in the Halifax Regional Municipality? Or maybe you're hoping to become a homeowner. Well, then stay tuned because I am coming at you with your April real estate market update. And be sure to stay tuned to the end where I share some crucial advice, whether you're buying or selling. In the Halifax Dartmouth region, our housing supply has been slowly but steadily rising since December, and we are currently sitting at 1.9 months of inventory, which to be clear is still a seller's market. However, April of last year, we only had 0.8 months. So we have more than doubled our supply year over year. If you're wondering what months of inventory means, I got you. Months of inventory is the time it would take for all of the homes currently on the market to sell if no new listings came to market. So in this case, our inventory would be gone in a little under two months. When we're talking months of inventory, four to six months is usually considered a balanced market. Anything below that means supply is down and it trends towards a seller's market. And anything above six months means there's plenty of inventory and it's considered more of a buyer's market. Now the number of new listings coming to market has been trending upward, but even though our months of inventory is much higher than it was last April, we're actually down quite a bit for new listings. This April, we saw 586 new listings come to market, which I know sounds like a lot, but for context, April of last year saw 812 new listings. And even if we look back at our pre-pandemic numbers for April of 2019, we had 969 new listings. So we're definitely seeing less homes hitting the market. Now moving along to average sale price, the average price for a home in the Halifax Dartmouth region was just over 600,000 in April. But keep in mind, this is for the entire HRM. There are some pretty vast differences when we start looking at our micro markets within the HRM. For example, the average sale price in Area 20, which is Bedford, was a little over 759000 in April, whereas the average sale price for Area 7, which is Spryfield, was just under 500000 Another important factor to keep in mind is that average sale price for the month can be skewed in any area if there weren't a lot of sales and a really expensive or inexpensive house sells. That being said, our average sale price has been trending upward consistently since December, and we're up almost 8% just from last month. If you've been following the market over the last year or so, you'll know that our sale price peaked in the HRM last April with an average of almost 610,000, which means we're only down around 1.5% from our market's peak last year. However, if we look at our median sale price instead of the average, we're still down around 6.4%. So as with all stats, context matters, and I think the reality is probably somewhere in the middle, which is still a pretty good recovery if you ask me. When we look at the average list to sale price, we've been holding firm around 100% for the Halifax Dartmouth region, which means that on average, homes are selling for what they've listed for. But one thing to keep in mind with this stat is that it has a lot to do with the strategy the seller is using to sell their property. Last spring when our market was really hot, it was common for most houses to be listed significantly under market value, which creates a bit of a frenzy and leads to bidding wars, but it also gave us some pretty high list to sale ratios. It got up as high as 125% last March. Now make no mistake, some sellers are still using this strategy and underpricing their homes right now, and a lot of properties are still selling above list price. Of the 473 total sales last month, 257 of them sold above list price, which is a little over half. And for the properties that did sell over ask, they sold for around 7.4% above list price. Now you might be wondering how long it's taking properties to sell right now. Our median days on market for April was only seven days, so things are moving quite quickly for a lot of homes. But as mentioned previously, this can vary greatly depending on the price point and location. So there's your April market update. Overall, things are picking up. We're definitely seeing multiple offers and we're seeing some really active listings that are getting a lot of showings. However, things are still tame compared to this time last year. So whether you're buying or selling, it's really best to take a closer look at the micro markets within your area of interest with a trusted real estate professional to come up with the right strategy for your specific situation. As we saw when looking at average sale prices, things can vary quite a bit depending on the neighborhood. And this in turn impacts other metrics like days on market, the sale to list ratio, and even what strategy you should be using as a buyer or seller. If you'd like a complimentary market analysis to find out what your home is worth in today's market or to book a call directly with me, no strings attached for either, you can do so using the links found below. And for more information on buying or selling, you can also check out my other videos.